Welcome, my name is Tuoms and I help remote workers to raise their energy, to have good feeling and having a sense of worthiness through yoga with Tom's. And today we're here for grounding yoga with Tom's. And how we achieve the grounding is we just anchor ourselves into the present moment by observing our senses, our breathing, and what happens around us, inside and outside, our mind, body, and emotions. As always, I recommend you to start the class with clear intention. What do you expect from this class? Could be anything from gaining strength, flexibility, or just peace of mind. And three more key aspects to help you keep on this practice going longer than just one time. First of all, try to enjoy the practice. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself and try to smile as often as you can remember. That's also one of the mindfulness exercises you can do as you do any asana practice. Second, try to stay present. Observe your breathing and just be aware how you breathe throughout the class. And third, practice balance on your yoga mat and off your yoga mat. And with these three things in mind, plus the intention for the practice, let's start the practice by finding yourselves onto the mat. And once you find your way on the mat in an easy seated position, let's open up the class and chanting Mantra Om with gratitude. So with inhalation, bring your hands up to the sky, reaching up, and with exhalation, bring them down in front of your chest, pray position. Mantra Om consists of three sounds, A, O, and N. Take a deep inhale in, into your belly, into your chest, and with exhalation, chant it. With intention in the mind and a smile on your face. Let's continue our class making circles for our hips. Inhale forward, exhale back. With inhalation, leaning forward, exhaling back. Try to allow your breath to be first and then the movement follows. And switch directions. To the circles, to the other side. Stop at the middle and with inhalation bring your hands up to the sky. Exhalation cactus bend your elbows, elbows back, spreading your fingers up to the sides. Inhale up, exhale down, bend your elbows, pull out the ground, spread the fingers, open fists. Inhale up, exhale down. Continue on your own, trying to be aware where your elbows stop. Is it 90 degree angle or below? Bring your elbows back, opening up your chest. Inhale up and next exhalation, twist towards your left. Bring your right hand on your left knee and left hand behind your back, twisting and looking over your left shoulder. With each exhalation, twisting slightly more. Now stay here for three. Count your breath. Two. And one. Inhalation back to the middle. Then reach your hands up to the sky. Exhalation twist to your right. Bringing your left hand onto your right knee. Right hand behind the back as close as possible to your sitting bone. Twisting your head. Looking over your right shoulder. Helping with your hands. Twisting you slightly more with each exhalation. Inhale forward. Exhale relax. 
like and please give it a Two. One. Inhalation back to the middle. Reach your hands up to the sky. Exhalation forward. And bring your palms facing upward and relax. Circle your neck. Release tension from your neck, from shoulders, and let the gravity let you down deeper into the floor bend. No need to reach anywhere, just relax as you circle the neck to the other side. Imagine like you're making circles with your chin, drawing in the air. Feel free to make any movements that you feel like. Your neck needs a bit of tension release. And whenever ready, let's lift up into the seated position. And for the next one, let's do a bit of a breathing exercise. So bring your right hand on top of your forehead, closing your right nostril. Inhale through the left. Close your left, open right and exhale through your right nostril. Try to be aware and count how, how fast you're breathing. Inhale, to the right, close the right, open left, exhale. Inhale, change and exhale to the right. Feel free to do it on your own pace, on your own rhythm, but try to maintain the same inhale, length of inhale and exhale. So continue on your own, inhale, change. Exhale. Always inhale, change, exhale. Follow the pattern, observing your breathing and noticing how usually one nostril is a bit more open than the other one. Don't worry about that, that's normal, just keep on breathing. And as you continue breathing, you might notice that both nostrils Balance each other and open more or less equally. And again, don't worry if it doesn't happen immediately, just keep on breathing. Follow the pattern inhale, change, exhale. Feel free to close your eyes to concentrate more on your breathing, having less distractions around. Doesn't matter also which fingers you use for closing your nostrils, whatever feels comfortable for you. And for me, I'm using thumb to close my right nostril and a ring finger to close my left nostril. Try to notice your sitting bones touching the ground as you keep on breathing. Notice other parts of your body touching the ground. One more time till you exhale through your left nostril. And whenever ready, Return back to the normal, regular breathing. And from here, find yourself into a tabletop. Bring your hands on front of your mat. Stepping back and let's go for cat and cow. Inhale, open, open up the chest, chin up, arch your back. And exhalation, angry cat, chin to the chest, pelvis forward. Dig your arms into the ground. Inhale, open, shoulders back, chin open, chest up. Other way around, exhale, close, chin to the chest, close forward, arch your back, arms firmly into the ground. Inhale, open, try to notice which parts of your body touching the ground. Exhale, close, as you keep on moving, synchronizing your movements with your breath. Feel free to practice Ujjayi breathing.
continue inhale exit moving your body well then and the next exhalation find yourself into the child pose sitting on your knees bring your chest closer to your knees arms sliding forward and your forehead onto the ground and keep on deep breathing inhale deeply into your belly and once your belly is full with air keep on inhaling into your chest and exhale and relax release and let your body sink onto the ground on this leg Notice all the parts of your body touching your mat and keep on observing your breath. And the next inhalation, find yourself back into the tabletop, onto your fall. And from here, slide your left hand over to your right. Thread the needle. And then your right hand slide the forward, making sure your chest is parallel to the ground, stretching your left shoulder. And hold it for three. Two. And one. Option one, stay here. Option two, twist your head and bring your left ear onto the mat, lifting up your right hand up to the sky, opening up your chest and looking up. And stay here, twisting. Option three, you can also lift up your right leg, grab it by the ankle and open up your hip as well. At the same time, holding the pose, balancing on your left shoulder, holding it with a smile. For three, don't worry if you lose your balance, feel free to go up and back to your previous option. One. Well done. Retrace your steps gently, returning back with your right hand up, reaching up to the sky and with exhalation back onto the middle, lifting up into the tabletop. Well done. And let's do the same thing to the other side. Sliding your right hand over to your right side. And then sliding your left hand forward towards the beginning of the mat, making sure your chest is parallel to the ground. Feel free to do any other position if you like so. Just pay attention whether you're doing it consciously or just not hearing instructions. There's no shame on not hearing it or not understanding it. It's just about concentrating your awareness. How do you position your body? And whenever ready, either stay here or lift up your left hand up to the sky, reaching up. Open up your chest and keeping your right hand on the ground. If you want, follow on with the option 3, lifting up your left leg up to the sky, grabbing it by the ankle and holding it for 3, 2, and 1. Well done. With inhalation, release your leg gently. With control, bring it down. Now you keep on reaching your left hand up to the sky and with inhalation back to the table pose. Inhale, open and cow pose. Exhalation, tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Walk your first dog of the day, lifting up one heel at a time. Maybe it reaches the ground, maybe it doesn't. Doesn't matter, no one cares. Keep on walking the dog. Try just to keep your arms straight, looking between your legs and bring your chest closer to your knees trying to stretch your shoulders give a nice gentle stretch for your shoulders while you keep on walking the dog from side to side feel free to do a twist if you want or just put more pressure on each leg one at a time stretching your hamstrings try to notice which parts of your body touching the ground, touching the mat? Have a gentle but firm contact with your mat. You're never ready. Go move on into the plank. Feeling still your body, feeling 
strong core. If you feel like, challenge yourself. Go a bit more further. Having a bit more stretch for your wrists. Hold the plank for three. Try to keep your core straight and strong. Two. And one. Well done. Exhalation, lower yourself slowly onto the ground. Either hold the lower plank or relax onto the ground. Shaking your body up for three. Two. And one. Release yourself onto the ground. Slide your hands forward into the swings. Feel free to keep your feet straight digging into the ground or open them up into the frog pose. Bending your knees and bringing the plants of the feet together. As you keep on pushing your chest forward, shoulders back and looking either forward or lifting your chin up to the sky and looking up. Choose your variation and feel your body touching your arms. Imagine like your belly button almost wants to touch your ground. Maybe it touches, maybe it doesn't. Make intention to bring your stomach as close as you can, feeling gentle pressure into your lower back. As you keep on opening up your chest, your shoulders back, your belly down. Pressing your legs firmly into the ground, pressing your arms. And hold it. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, lift your chin higher up. Exhalation, turn, twist towards your right. And hold it for three. Two and one. Inhalation back to the middle. Chin up. Exhalation to the left. Other side. Looking over your left shoulder for three. Two and one. Inhalation back to the middle. Exhalation, lower yourself onto the ground. Inhalation, lift your legs, lift your arms off the ground. And hold it for three. Two and one. Exhalation, roll yourself. And with inhalation, upward facing dog. Straighten your arms, open up the chest. Actually, lift your knees off the ground. Look here. And with next exhalation, downward facing dog. Bring yourself back in the dog. Feel free to walk here, stand still. Or if you want, go for three leg dog. For three. Two. And one, exhaling, bring your right leg down and switch sides for three, two, and one, exhalation, back into the downward facing dog, on your next breath, find yourself into the child's pose, bring your knees together, slide your hands forward, and keep on observing your breath, deep in up into your belly, into your chest, Keep on observing your breath and enjoy the first checkpoint. And then, with your own time, find yourself into the easy seated position. Your eyes closed, spine straight, chest open. As you sit upright and observe your body, notice how your body feels after the practice. Give yourself congratulations for practicing and giving time to stretch, strengthen, and make your body more fit. Shift your focus towards your mind. Notice how your thoughts enter and exit your mind. Try not to engage with your thoughts, just observe. Be a pleasant observer. Finally, switch your focus and awareness towards your heart. 
observing your emotions. Try to name emotions entering and exiting your body. Try to notice if there's any pattern between how you feel, how you think, and how you feel emotionally. Finally, let's close the class and chanting Mantra Om with clarity, with inhalation, reaching your hands up to the sky. Exhaling, going down in front of your chest, great position. Take a deep inhalation, incorporation for a chant. Oh. Congratulations for participating and investing in yourself. Hopefully you feel more grounded into the present moment and into your body, making a stronger connection with yourself, with your own body, your mental and physical fitness, as well as emotional intelligence. Hopefully you enjoyed this class and if you did and you feel some benefits from practicing, I invite you to support my channel by liking this video, maybe leaving some comments, letting me know how you feel after the class, if everything was clear, clearly explained, maybe you had some struggles, I would love to explain or just share my knowledge about yoga practice. If you have any doubts, feel free to contact me. As always, feel free to also subscribe for more videos like this, supporting this channel, reaching out more people, reaching out more people and just spreading love for yoga and mental fitness. As always, I wish you a magical day in front of you and see you on the next one. Be present.